So let's talk about seed saving, one of my favorite topics. I love seeds. And some of you may know me, you know, as the spokesperson for, for a little bit for Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. I love seeds. And over there, there's a lot of people that really love seeds. Um, I really love Seed Saver and Exchange as well. I think they're the best example of permaculture seed saving and exchange out there. Um, and there are smaller companies out there doing amazing things like Sierra Seeds, Rowan, uh, Rowan White. Just amazing, amazing things are out there in the seed saving world. There's community seed swaps, community seed banks, all these services that have just have come about in the past five to 10 years around seeds that are so positive. Um, and just inspiring, incredible. Uh, and these seeds can really be um, a catalyst for a community to grow from, to gather around, to celebrate. Um, and so seed saving, if, if, if you haven't seed saved, um, is really, really easy. If you do it once, you won't forget it. That's the cool thing about seeds. Seeds are so entertaining, engaging, uh, interesting that when you work with them, it's very hard to um, forget what you did, what you learned, what they had to say to you. Uh, most seeds dry down on the plant itself and you just let things go. You just let things go way too far and you're like, this plant's looking real weird now. This does not look like an artichoke. And yeah, no, now it's purple and fuzzy and now it's spiky and weird and it's got to dry down completely to make sure those seeds are done. So you want it to be finished drying inside the plant inside the seed. So what if it starts to rain? What if you're running out of season, the rains are coming? You can snip things and bring them inside to finish drawing, drawing on the plant. Maybe you're gonna hang it upside down so the, the sugars and remains, what remains goes into the plant. This is the trick I did with the Peruvian corn to get it to finish properly that first season. But maybe there's seeds that just never dry down and you're bringing in and you're drying down inside. Maybe you're using a dehydrator and very low because maybe you're in a climate like Oregon or Pacific Northwest where it's so wet and humid that drying things down is very difficult. Missouri had the same problem um, where basically seeds that uh, just given a moment's chance would just start to mold, start to rot. Keeping seeds in that climate is actually very, very difficult. But there are also wet seeds that you can dry and wet seeds you can't dry and rhizomes and more. So this right here is carrots. This right here is lettuce. This right here are, is beets or, or Swiss chard. This is sorghum, it's not quite finished. See the green, it needs to be more brown and have uh, little dots on the seed. This is an awesome, awesome painted mountain corn. I love painted mountain corn. Um, and, and the color really goes solid um, when, when these are done. So if you're peeking at it and the colors that you know are just coming in, you know that it's not ready. And this right here, these are radish seeds. This is strawberry spinach. And the seeds, you can see little black dots. Um, th th they're, they're absolutely amazing. Uh, this is uh, mustard seed. These are beans, of course. These are beans, of course. And now squash and melon. So you get those squash seeds out of the wet squash, just like so. And then same thing with melon seed. You're going to dry them on a screen or a plate and then collect them once they are dry. And how do you know they're completely dry when you can snap them and they actually snap like they are dry? Tomatoes, tomatillos, and peppers. These are wet seeds. Um, and I'll have a video below on what to do with them, but there, uh, you might have seen that video already, um, in my gardening class or my other, my other, uh, my other stuff, but the wet seed, you know, you need to die, you need to have things break down because the seed coating on some of these wet seeds, um, needs to break down so that the seed can dry out beautifully. Otherwise they stick together and make a big mass. Um, and then some things, you know, they're going to create a tuber, a bulb or something that you literally can take and it doesn't have seeds, itself is a, like a vegetative component of growth. And then you're gonna end up with a whole fridge full of seeds um, and that's awesome. I mean, I, I have a whole um, storage unit, a storage bin of, um, of seeds. So it just happens over time very quickly actually. Permaculture provides a pathway to abundance, 
that transcends the degenerative problems and systems of today that allows us to step outside of their system and to be able to provide, connect, and form community at such a high level that we can restore, we can rebuild, and we can regenerate. I'm so excited for you to join us in the Advanced Permaculture Student Online. This year is gonna be absolutely incredible. We have so many educators involved. We have so many people involved in this lifetime community. Once you sign up, you're part of that community. You can take it as many times as you like. You can join us in the live over and over again. People do. Folks, go from learning to practicing, to taking that action, to making it real, becoming teachers, making it their career. They're now running a mushroom business. They're now running a landscaping and design business, running events for people to start learning this themselves. They've become teachers. All these options and more, so many more in the regenerative economy are showcased in this course. That's why there's over 70 different educators because we need to have all those different voices to show the full range of what's possible for you and for everyone. I'm Matt Powers, author, educator, citizen scientist, seed saver, gardener, and family guy. And I teach people all over the world how to live more regeneratively. And it all starts with the Advanced Permaculture Student Online. Join us, join this community, join this course. It will change your life. That's what my students have told me. That's what people have been saying for years. This course changes lives. So join us, learn what's possible, and start on your path into the regenerative future. I'm Matt Powers, grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. And I'll see you inside the Advanced Permaculture Student Online. Start soon. Click the link below and join us.